Hi everyone! Welcome to the Piano Keys. I'm so glad that you're here. This is a tutorial video for my easy piano arrangement of Eine kleine Nachtmusik, which uh, in English, even though this is not an uh, exact translation, um, but in English a lot of times it's called a little night music. This is the first part of it, the allegro part, which is like the fast part. So I do have a performance video, which I'll link to here. You might notice that in the performance video, I play it pretty fast. It's because that's what I wanted to do, but you don't have to play it that fast. You can start practicing it very, very slowly, which is what we do in this video. And then as you get better at it, meaning like your fingers know where to go, your arms are feeling pretty relaxed, your mind is at ease that you know what's coming up next, then you can naturally go a little bit faster. Uh, and I mean a little bit, like a little at a time. So if you try to go much, much faster immediately or within a short amount of time before you're ready, you're probably gonna um, ask me a question like, why isn't this happening? I'll tell you that right now. Speaking of questions, uh, I do have a lot of information in the description boxes underneath my videos. So. I love getting your questions, but if I've already answered it in the information box, then go ahead and take a look and then that way you can get your uh, question answered right away without even having to ask me. Many of you have told me how much you appreciate the work that I do and you've asked me how you can show your appreciation. So I do have a donate button to PayPal. Uh, in this, in the description box of this video, you don't have to donate. I really appreciate it if you do because it helps me offset the costs of what I do here. Um, another way you can show your appreciation is by buying sheet music, which often is about four, five, or six dollars U.S. dollars. And um, I also have those links in the description boxes of my videos. When you buy sheet music, not only am I getting a little bit of money from that but it's also raising my profile uh, on the internet. There's more activity happening around uh, my, you know, my brand name, if you wanna call it that, the piano keys, and there's just more visibility so then other people can find me and gain the same benefits that you have gained. So if you cannot afford to donate or to buy sheet music, it's perfectly fine. I love you anyway, but if you can, I would really appreciate it. Thank you. So. If you're ready to learn Eine kleine Nachtmusik, easy piano version, keep watching. Okay, I'm going to show it to you slowly. As you can see in the performance video, you can take this piece pretty fast, but you actually don't have to. Um, I played it fast because that's how I liked it. But you should definitely learn it slowly and play it slowly for as long as you need to. Your fingers will tell you when it's time to go faster. They'll, they'll want to go faster. Um, and it's better to play a little bit slower and make it clean and even and beautiful than to try to push the speed and be sloppy with it. It just sounds better all ov overall. Okay, so left hand, third finger is on C. This is the C below middle C. Here's middle C. Here's a C below. So we're going to play C, third finger, and then G just below that with a fifth finger. You repeat that. And then one more time. Now you go back to the C, and you go up, second finger to E, and then first finger to G. Take your first finger down one note to F, then second finger on D, repeat that, play it again, this time third finger goes down to B, then second finger back to D, and then fifth finger on G. So let me play that, I'm going to play it really slow, but in rhythm. I'll count uh, one, two, three, four, so you can hear where it is. And um, if when you're ready, go ahead and count with me, okay? So we're gonna practice this a little bit together. So third finger on C. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four.
One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Notice that I'm picking up my hand after every single uh, note. So it's a it's kind of a, a jumpy kind of piece. So you don't want to play. It loses its character, right? The right hand plays the same exact notes that the left hand did, but up two octaves. So left hand was down here, right hand is up an octave from middle C. So second finger on C, first on G. Then you repeat that. Play one more time. This time play C, then third finger on E, fifth finger on G. Pick up that fifth finger, move it down one note to F, third finger on D, repeat that. One more time, this time second finger goes to B, third on D, first on G. The counting is the same as for the left hand. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, Three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Practice uh, these hands separate sections as many times as you need to, and then let's go on and do hands together. So hands play exactly at the same time every time. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And there's no pedal here. So that's pretty easy. <laughs> Left hand was on G. Pick up that fifth finger and move it up to C, below middle C. You play a C one time, then third finger on E, first on G, play them together, repeat it. So it's one C and three of the E and the G. Then you repeat that whole thing. C, E and G, E and G, E and G. I want to just say here, uh, since you're going to go faster later, you want to practice with correct technique now when it's slow. So notice that I'm not jumping my fingers. Uh, this is a really common misconception. People think when you play detached or staccato, as we call it in music, that you lift your fingers. No, you don't want your wrist to stay in place and your fingers go up and down. That's the inefficient way to do it. What you want to do is keep your fingers touching the keys and bounce up and down with your wrist. You can actually go a lot faster that way than trying to do this, okay? So if you find that um, your repeated notes are not going well, probably it's because you're not using your wrist, you're trying to use your fingers, okay? Or your hand, your palm to move around, don't. So use your, your wrist is actually bending every time. So your fingers keep as close to the keys as possible always lower than your wrist. We don't want the fingers going higher like that. That's just weird. <laughs> and there's there's nothing to be gained from making it harder on yourself. Okay, so I'm gonna start section two again so we know where we are. So we do C, E and G, E and G, E and G. You repeat that. Then play the C, 
This time, you'll do G and F, one and two fingers. You repeat that. Go back and play the first pattern, C, E and G, E and G, E and G, repeat that. And then repeat the second pattern, C, F and G. Okay, now, fifth finger on C, that's gonna be a long note. Fourth on D, third on E, so we're just stepping up. Now fifth finger moves down to B, fourth on C, third on D, and second on E, we just stepped up. So I'll play that much with counting and you can see how it all fits together. Uh, before I do, I just want to point out the way I'm doing it is I'm holding the fifth finger until I play those bouncy notes. You don't have to do it that way, but that's how I'm playing it and that's how I'm teaching it. If you want, you can do you can do that if you want to, okay? So um, either one is fine, whatever you prefer. Here we go. One, two, three, four. One. Two, three, four. One, 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 two, three, four. Right hand was on G, first finger. Now, second finger will be on C just above that. You play it twice. See where your fourth finger is? It should be right above E, we're gonna play it. So E, fourth finger, step it down. D, C. Now we're gonna do a grace note. Remember, a grace note is just uh, something to add decoration. The grace note is gonna be third finger on D and it's gonna go to second finger on C. Like that. Remember, you don't want to attack the, the grace note. It's not, right? So it's, the emphasis is on the C and the grace note is just kind of like you happen to trip over it on the way, like that, okay? So, D, C, now first finger on B, repeat that. Third on D, on D fifth on F, first on B, Third on D, second on C, repeat that. Now you repeat it from the beginning of this section, but without the two C's, so you go. E, D, C, grace note going to C, B, B. D, F, B. Now, second finger on C. Before we did third finger on D, now we're gonna go to C. Repeat that C. Now repeat the C, but put third finger on it. Step it down, B, A, back up, B, C. Play that C with your first finger. Now third finger on E, step it down, D, C, D, E. So you step it down, step it up. Play that E again with the first finger. Do you see the pattern we're doing here? Third finger on G, step it down, then step it back up. So the pattern I'm talking about is this. We go three notes down, then go back up where you started. Then the next one starts on E. Three notes down, go back where you started, then start on G, three notes down. Okay, why is it important to understand and acknowledge patterns? Well. It's a way to organize what's happening so that your brain and your fingers can um, 
find more easily the things that the notes uh, and rhythms that you're looking for. So organizing patterns, we do it all the time in daily life. We also do it in music. All right, I'm going to play that much. And now I'm going to count one, two, three, four. But when I come to these quick notes, I'm going to say and. You'll see it. It'll be easy. So start on C, second finger. One, two, three, four. You don't play on one. Play on two, three, four. Now grace note does not get a count. One, two, three, four. One, don't play. Two, three, four. One, 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 two, three, and four, and one, two. Three and four and one, two, three and four and one, two, three, four. So I'll go hands together really slow. You'll see where things uh, fall together and when they're not. Here we go. Now I'll play it again, and this time I'll do pedaling. Remember, Mozart wrote this piece for, um, not for the piano, but for strings. Strings do not have pedals. They don't have sustained pedals, but um, neither are they percussion instruments. So the piano is a percussion instrument. What does that mean? That means that the hammers strike the strings, okay? So it's like hitting the strings. Um, also, as soon as those strings are struck, the, the sound starts to decay. Whereas if you're playing a violin, if you keep bowing, you can keep the sound going forever. On piano, you can't. So when you're translating a piece that's written for other instruments onto the piano, you have to be kind of aware of the differences of the instruments involved and also what kind of effect you're going for. Remember that I made this um, arrangement. So this is just the pedaling that I think sounds good. This is not the law, okay? So if you don't like this pedaling, don't do it or do something different or use some of it, use some of your own. Remember that music is an art. It's not um, like you have to do it this way. If you're the artist, you interpret it how you want, unless you have, you know, a conductor or a music director or something like that telling you what to do, but chances are you don't have that. So I'm gonna show you my pedaling. What I do is I put down the pedal with the first notes then I lift with the second note at the right hand. So it goes down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Up, down, up, 
down, up. Now, no pedal for the rest. I don't, I don't think it needs a pedal here. Okay. Left hand was on E, second finger. Now, move it up to middle C, first finger. Play it again. Then second finger on B, and then back to your middle C. Fifth finger on F, fourth on G, repeat that. Now back to your middle C. You're gonna play G again, but this time you're gonna stretch your second finger down to it, and then fifth finger down to C. I'll do that with counting. One, two, three, four. 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 Notice those last three notes were pretty short. Okay, like that. Right hand, third finger was on high G. We're gonna play that G again, but with fourth finger and add an E underneath it with second finger. Then, third finger on F, fifth on A. Okay, now we have another grace note, fourth finger on G is the grace note, and it's gonna go to first finger on D, third finger on F, like this. Okay, then you repeat that D and F. Now, fourth finger does another grace note, this time on F, going to C and E, first and third. Repeat that C and E. Here's another grace note, fourth finger on E, and it's going to first finger on A, third finger on D. Repeat that A and D. You might have to stop here and practice that a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna keep going. Third finger on C, step it down. Second on B, first on A, then back up to B. Now you play that C again, but this time add a G underneath it. So first finger on G, third on C. Then second on B, fourth on D. Then third on C and fifth on E. And these are also quick notes. Not quick, uh, short. So let me do that with counting. One, two, three, Four. 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 Now hands together, one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now we have that grace note. Normally in um, classical music, you play a grace note before the beat like this. But um, in this particular case, we're gonna play it with the left hand on beat one. One, but notice that you get right off of it like one, one, <laughs> one. Okay, so you don't want to spend time on it. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three. Pedaling, I'm adding touches of pedal. Pedal down when you play, then play the new chord and then change, change, up, down, up, down, up, down, change, up, and then no pedal here. 
section four, you're gonna love it because it's almost exactly the same as section three. So we start left hand, same way. Middle C, first finger, then B, then C, then F, then G, fourth finger. Now here's where it changes. Play that G again, but with first finger, then stretch your second finger down to C and play it again. Okay, I'll count that. One, two, three, four. 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 Right hand in this section is, uh, again, very similar to, well, at least the beginning of it is the same as you started in section three. So two and four, E and G, then F and A, three and five. Now here it changes. So one on D, four on G. Then third finger on F, you play that F three times. Then move your hand just a little bit. D, second finger, F, fourth finger. Then third finger goes to E, play it three times. Then first finger on A, fifth on E, fourth finger on D, play it three times. Third on C, this is just like uh, section three. Step it down, step it up, and then just play a C. I'll play that much with counting. Here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 Again, on these repeated notes, I'm literally touching the key the entire time. I never let go of the key. I feel the key underneath my finger the entire time. What's lifting is, really what's lifting is my forearm and my wrist is relaxed so it looks like it's moving. It is moving, but it's the, the action is being originated in my forearm going up and down like that. Together, two, three, four. One, 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 two, move your left hand, same note, first finger, three, four, one, two, three, four. Pedaling, pedal goes down when the hands play. One, two, three, four. Now change, two, three, four. Here, down, up, down, Down, up, down, up, down, and hold it. So you might, you might hear this is getting a little bit blurry, but when I go really fast, here I'll show it to you really fast. You see that it's not noticeable, okay? Left hand, you're gonna love it. Section five, left hand, the, almost the entire time is just playing C's with the second finger. So, how many do we play? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven times. So, here we go. That was eleven. Now. 
then you just step down to B, third finger, and then you come back to your C, then fourth finger on A, fifth on G, first finger up an octave to G, and then back to your low G. The counting, super easy, here we go. One, two, three, four. 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 Right hand third finger was on C at the end of the last section. Now take that third finger and move it up to D. You're gonna step it down, then back up. So you did D, C, B, C, D. Okay, then first finger on B, fourth on E. Now you're gonna pick up your third finger, put it on F, and do that stepping down, stepping up again. So F, E, D, E, F, three, two, one, two, three. First on D, fifth finger on G, first finger on low G, an octave lower, three times. Then A, second finger, two times. B, third finger, two times. Thumb goes under and find C, two times. D, second finger, two times. Third finger on E, get you guessed it, two times. And then fourth finger on F sharp, which is the black key just to the right of F, two times. And we're back at our high, high G, fifth finger. And then the G an octave below that, four times. Okay, so I'm gonna count it. Now here's where it'd be really beneficial for you to have the sheet music if you're interested in learning how to read rhythms. And not just reading, but actually figuring out how to do them on the piano. So here we have uh, 16th notes. I'm gonna count them for you and you'll see how easy it is. So on beat one, we don't do anything. So one, two, E, and da. Yeah, I said two, E, and da. Okay, so we're fitting four notes into the space of one count. So here you go. One, two, E, and a three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, E, and a three, four. One, two, 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 three. Left hand goes first on beat one. One, then right hand. Two, E, and a. Because the left hand has to play the same note again, you have to let it go. So right when you start playing the right hand, think about lifting the left hand. Okay, remember it's just from the arm, not from the finger. So, one, two, E, and a, three, four. One, Two, three, four. One, two, E, and a three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, 
I got a little bit faster there just so I wouldn't put you to sleep or put myself to sleep. All right, pedaling. So you had the pedal held down uh, in section four. As soon as you play the first note here in section five, you're gonna lift and change the pedal. So play and change, then. Change. 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 Now you're going to change every time the left hand plays. Change. 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 And change. Again, you do not have to use this pedaling. This is what I'm using right now. We left the left hand on low G, fifth finger. Now we're gonna play second finger on C sharp. C sharp is the black key to the right of C. Then first finger on D, third on B, and then back to our low G, fifth finger. Now lift out fifth finger and move it up to G sharp. Then fourth finger on A, uh, on A, <laughs> second on D, and then first on G. Lift that first finger, put it on F, step it down, E, D, then fourth finger on C, fifth on B, back to your C, fourth finger, play it again, third on D, Fifth on B, first on G, fifth on G an octave below, second on C, first on F, pick up that first finger, move it to G, and then back down an octave to G fifth finger. So that might seem a little disorganized if you're just looking at it note by note. Um, so I'm going to play for you with counting, and you might have to repeat this a few times to get it organized in your mind. So we don't play one, two, three, four. It's going to be all right hand, and then one and two, still right hand. Then on three, we play C sharp. So this is on beat three, second finger on C sharp. Three, four. One, two. Three, four. One, two, 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 three, four. Right hand was on G, first finger. We're going to find the G right above it, up an octave, with our fifth finger. Then step all the way down until you run out of fingers. Okay, pretty easy. Lift, fifth finger on A. Lift. Fourth on F, lift, second on D, lift back to your high G, fifth finger. Pick up that fifth finger and move it down to E, 
And again, we're gonna step down until we run out of fingers. Lift, fifth finger on F, lift, fourth finger on E, then third finger on D. Repeat the very beginning of this section, G, fifth finger, stepping down to first, and then back to your A, your F, now third finger on F, then first finger on D. I don't know why I did it that way. You can use the same fingering as before if you want. Um, so the first part of this uh, section we did A, fifth finger on A, then fourth on F, second on D. Then in this section, in this part I did A, fifth finger, third finger on F, first finger on D. I don't know why. <laughs> you could still do four and two. You know what? Let's do it the same way. So let's go. This is the second time it happens. Fifth finger on G, step down until you run out of fingers. Now, fifth finger on A, and we'll do it the same way that we did the first time. Fourth finger on F, second on D, then fifth finger on G. Now, down to the G right below it, then step up, A, B. You're gonna play that B again with fourth finger, then fifth finger on C. Third finger on A, same A, fifth finger. Down to G, fourth finger. Lift and play B. Now the counting. In this case, we have a tied note. If, if you're not sure what that means, and if you're looking at the sheet music, which I highly recommend if you wanna start really uh, getting you know, more proficient at reading sheet music, then, then start looking at it. Uh, that's how you get better at stuff. You, you do it more and more. So a tied note is basically the same note. In this case, it's a G with a curvy line between the two notes, which means that you play the first one and you hold the second one. Okay, so it looks like this when you count it. One, two, three, and four, and. So you see on, on three, if you're looking at the music, you'll see that there's a G, but I'm not playing it again, I'm just holding it. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna do that pattern with the tied notes, this time starting on E. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now you play it just like the beginning of this section. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. 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 So uh, if you have the sheet music and if you're looking at it right now, on the last page um, where I have measure 55, I have third finger on F, first on D. You can see that now I'm just playing it the same way that I did in measure 47 on the second page. Either one is fine. As I keep telling you, fingering is not a law, okay? It's just whatever. Whatever feels good. In this case, I'm gonna play the same fingering and teach you the same fingering because um, it's probably easier for you to repeat it the same way. But you can easily play it with the other fingering too. Right hand starts by itself. One, two, three, and four, and one, two. Now together. 
three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Now just the right hand. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, and four, and one, two, three, four. 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 And I'm not using any pedaling at all in this section, no pedal. We left off fifth finger on low G. Now, this is going to be just like the beginning. Yay! Just like section one. C, G, C, G, C, G, C, E, G. Here's where it changes. Fifth finger reach down to low G. Second on C. Repeat that. G, C. Play it again. G, C. And again. G, C. And one more time. G, C. So all together that G, C pattern happens one, two, three, four, five times. On the fifth time, you stay on C and you play C four times. That was one. Here's two. Here's three. Here's four. And then on the fifth time, you play an octave. One and five. So I'll show you what that looks like with counting. One, two, three, four. 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 Now just the C. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And now the octave. One, two, three, four. We were on first finger on B. From here, you step up to second finger on C and then it's just like the beginning G C so it's one two G C G <laughs> I'll play that better G C G C E G now first finger on F fourth on B pick up move that first finger down to E fifth finger on C you repeat this, just like you repeated the left hand pattern. F and B, E and C. 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 So this happens the same number of times as the left hand did, which is one, two, three, four, five. On the fifth time, you stay on E and C. You take your one and five, fingers one and five, move them up to G and E. Back to E and C, back to G and E, and then E and C. So you do this pattern twice through, and then on the third time, you just stay here. One, two, pick up your right hand, three, while you pick up your left hand. So right hand picks up, actually, go ahead and pick it up on like beat one, uh, beat two. One, two, 
three so you'll be ready. So I'm going slow and it seems like I'm picking up way too early, like one, two, three, you know, I have all this time. But if I go, if I go fast, one, two, three, one, two, three. So you see, you don't want to leave it to the last second, then you're rushing and you're creating tension and you're not getting the notes you want, you're not accurate. So better to leave a little bit early. Hey, just like going somewhere, you might encounter traffic. Um, it's better to leave early and get there when you need to be, okay? So one, lift your right hand, start moving. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Just like the beginning. One, two, three, four. 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 One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, pick up and move, one, two, three, pick up and move, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. The first part of this, there's no pedal, so here, no pedal. Now, put down the pedal here. You're gonna change it every time you play. Change, 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 change. I don't know how many times I did that, but hopefully it was the right number of times. It feels like the right number of times. Now, change, change, <laughs> every time you play. Change, change, that. That was my version of Eine Kleine Nachtmusik. Find me on social media, uh, Facebook, I'm at The Piano Keys, Instagram, The Piano Keys TPK. My website is thepianokeys.com, where I do have actually a bunch of free sheet music, so you can go and have at it. <laughs> keep your questions coming, keep your requests coming. I Look, I can't get to them right away. Uh, if You know what, I'll link here to uh, my video on how I make videos, just so you can see that uh, I, I really, if you have an exam coming up next week and you need a tutorial, there's nothing I can do for you, okay? So you want to think ahead, way ahead, and make your requests. Um, otherwise, you can schedule a private Skype lesson with me, which usually can be done in about one or two weeks ahead of time. Okay, keep practicing. Have fun, and I will see you soon. Bye.